In this video, we're gonna explain the cross-touch technology from Humminbird, which allows you to use both touchscreen and actual physical keys to navigate the user interface. So let's explain cross-touch. So the beauty of cross-touch is the versatility of how you're able to use your Humminbird Fish Finder, allowing you to operate it how you feel most comfortable. Touchscreen allows you to navigate the user interface extremely fast while providing unique ways of using your fish finder, like zooming in, making waypoints, and even shortcuts like the two finger press. Physical keys can be nice in rougher water or while you're running across the lake because it's easier for you to press a physical button versus trying to tap a specific target. Personally, there are a few things that I prefer to do with the keypad versus using touchscreen and vice versa. All right, so let's just show you a couple examples of how you can do the same thing on touchscreen versus the keypad. So an obvious one would be navigating to the home screen. So that button is right here in the top right. I can press that button, gets to my home screen, I can navigate the home screen. So if we go back, I'll show you how you can do that on touchscreen. You have an icon right here in the top left. There's your home button. You can do the same thing, whether it's touchscreen or that button. Another example would be opening your settings menu. So up in the top right here, you're gonna have the little hamburger bar. You can press that. That's gonna open up my settings for my selected technology, which is side imaging right now. And if I wanted to do that on touchscreen, it's gonna be right here on the side menu bar. Let's say we wanna view some different areas on our chart. One way to do that on the keypad would be to use our keypad over here and navigate around. Same way to do that on touchscreen would be just simply touch and scroll. And another example would be zooming in. So I can pinch zoom on touchscreen. You can come look at these rock waypoints right here. Or on the keypad, you can do that with the plus and minus buttons right here. Another example would be to mark a waypoint. So on our side imaging here, let's say we had something we wanted to mark. I can press and hold, mark a waypoint, drop that waypoint. Or if I wanted to do that on the keypad, I simply use my keypad, similar to how you would on a helix, and mark my waypoint. If you want to learn how to be an expert with your hummingbird fish finders, check the description below for a link to a variety of different video resources explaining this user interface.